all right ladies and gentlemen i think it is time to finally start celasta crown of the magister i have no idea what i'm getting into other than a dnd essence of a game um i am fairly new still to dnd the only really games that i've played that have been inspired have been divinity original sin 2 and um most of part one of Baldur's Gate 3. So bear with me because I know this game is going to be heavy, but yeah, we'll see how far it goes next week as well. A week from today, actually, uh, the D&D Dark Alliance game will be dropping. So I will 100% be playing that as well because uh, that game looks pretty fun also. But for now, we've got uh, Celesta. So let's see what we got. Tutorial new adventure. <laughs> uh, more campaigns are planned after the release of the game. That's cool. Uh, select four level one characters to start the Celesta campaign. So what type of difficulty modes do we have here? Authentic, tabletop rule set. You have scavenger, cataclysm. Definitely not doing the harder difficulties. I might start with not story, but explorer, just because, well, personally, I always go story mode, but authentic, I feel like I'm gonna get wrecked. Since I am actually unfamiliar with tactical RPGs or the rule set, mainly the rule set, I'm going to stick with explorer for now. Um, it says detailed options can be customized in the game menu, so that's okay. Um, as far as that, select this. So party setup. Oh boy. This is going to be a lot, a lot of reading. <laughs> uh, this pull list of characters that you can select from for your adventure. Some characters have been generated by us. And if you want a quick start to your adventure, but we advise that you create your own party of four adventurers. Okay. So I'm assuming you like... Oh, it says new character. Create a new character and choose ancestry, class, and background. Hmm. So we could do one main character. Or, well, obviously they're all main characters, but I could create one. And then I uh, select some from that list. So. First step is to select an ancestry, which will determine your appearance as well as your gameplay abilities listed on the right. Some ancestors offer, offer a lineage sub option to further refine the gameplay abilities of that character. Hill Dwarf, Half Elf, Human, High Elf, and Marsh Halfling. You have two lineages for the High Elf. Oh. You have High Elf and Sylvan uh, Elf. If I'm saying that correctly, you have a snow dwarf and hill dwarf. Um, if I'm making my first character, personally, I'm probably going to make myself because why not? You know, so I think we're probably going to go human. Um, maybe we'll make two custom characters as well. Let's see human accessory uh, move six. Let's go to mail. Okay, next. Class selection. Actor class determines a profession, granting specific features listed on the right. New powers and even subclasses are granted at higher levels of experience. Each class also offers a set of equipment which you can use to customize. Okay. We have cleric, fighter, paladin, ranger, rogue, wizard. Yo, wizard, Harry. Personally, I think, see back in the old days, whenever I played like an MMO or an RPG, whatever it may be, I always went wizard. Today though, I seem to be going a lot more along the, uh, it's like I, the colors were kind of messed up there a little bit, so. Today I seem to go, be going a little bit more towards Ranger, 
Um, wanderers of Celeste's wilderness, rangers of trained survivalists, fierce in battle, and stealthy hunters. Excellent trackers and archers. They also have some spell casting abilities. Let's check out the rangers. Oh god. Higher abilities. Fight styling. Ranger spell casting. Okay, I see. So these are some of the higher abilities that you get. And then you can choose between them. Ranger archetype. Archetype that will... Or... I don't know if you choose one or the other. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> Saving throw proficiency, strength and dexterity. Uh, ranger armor proficiency is light armor, medium shield. Trained in craft... Uh, trained to craft basic ammunition. Use three skills. Animal handling. Uh, athletics, insight, investigation, nature, perception, survival, stealth. Gain adventure or ad, ad, ugh, advantage on ability checks towards this creature type. Additional damage against it equal to your knowledge level. Okay. Gain an advantage. Uh, so it's your favorite enemy. Additional damage against it equal to your knowledge level. Huh. Let's do it beast, celestial, construct, elemental. I feel like a ranger good against elemental creatures. Um, or maybe a beast is probably a good start too. Alien beings, construct, dragon, elemental. Fey, Fiend, Giant, Monstrosity, Ooze, Plant, Undead. Let's go Beast. Elemental, Beast. Yeah, let's stay Beast, because then my my Ranger can be a, a Wizard and they'll be un Elemental. So yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, We'll try to stay along the lines, but divert it a little bit. You know, not a huge deal. Uh, you're adept in at living and traveling in a certain type of terrain. Ghost. Oh, it is not used in the Crown of Magister area. Interesting. Although part of the rule set are, and valid. Although part of the rule set and valid role playing purposes. Uh, this element is not used in Crown of Magister main campaign. Okay. Same thing with the Arctic. Sure, we, we can stay with forest. That's fine. Equipment. So you have leather armor or scale armor or scale mail. Plus dexterity. AC to 14. Stealth disadvantage. AC to 11. AC to that. Short sword. Long bow. Short bow. Dungeoneer's pack. Backpack, torch, uh, ration, potion of health. Anti-toxin, projectile parts, or you get the explorer's pack. I'll stay. I'll, I'll stick with the the default stuff. Tutorial background selection as background determines the character's history prior to the adventure. Tutorial alignment. Flags offered by your background. You must also select two personalities. Flags are dispatched on the ethical axes of law, chaos, slash good, slash evil. Alignment in is a second form of personality customization. You can force a personality trait by selecting the same uh, flag twice. Flags will not affect gameplay choices or dialogue options, but simply modify the way your character speaks, their tone, and their manners. Okay.
So we have Academic, Acolyte, Aristocrat, Lawkeeper, Lowlife, Philosopher, Sp Sellsword, and Spy. Acolyte uh, serves the Temple of a specific God or Pantheon of Gods. Academic, Lawkeeper. Just reading all these. Spy. So, if you're a ranger, if I was a ranger looking dude, what would I be? Academic? History and magic. Your teacher saw your interest and ensured that the potential was nurtured. Mission in his life to discover the secrets of the past, both magical and mundane. So, you took to your backpack, set out yourself in wonders for yourself. Let's do academic. Or, okay. Ah, I see. So, you select one. I was, for some reason, I was thinking you select two. Spy, sellsword. Yo, what's going on? Splitting wigs. Spy and sell, sellsword are pretty sick, too. This one's mercenary. Essentially. Forged your character and made you both tough and bitter. And then also, spy... Low-level low diplomatic aid, learning the tricks of spycraft between the principal, principality, the new empire, the kingdom of Gal Galavan. Take sides and never become an official spy, but you have retained the skills necessary for your... Huh. Why actually go spy? Let's go... Let's... Yeah. yeah. Let's go spy. I... Uh, so choose two background personality flags caution take one's own safety above all cynical the value practicality over principles and greed avoid these are all uh how about if we're cautious and we're cynical cynicism <laughs> Uh, and then choose two. Chaos, law, evil. I always try to help those in need. Let's do that because we're a nice guy. Law rules, laws, and order rather than chaos. Practicality over principles. Authority. Greed. Let's do, let's do these two. We're, we're a nice guy and we follow the rules, although we're a spy. <laughs> uh, ability scores at the, the six core attributes, defining whether your character excels strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma with values three to 20. Under each is applied to the relevant, okay. Ability can be generated in several ways, either randomly or using a point system. Intelligence for a wizard. So for a ranger, it's dexterity, wisdom, and constitution. Um, charisma. So it's your ability to interact effectively with others. It includes such factors as a confidence and eloquence. Me represent a charming or commanding personality. Well, that's one thing I like though, is I want to have a high charisma, but I'm a ranger. Change the point system. Ah! Dice rolls. Choose an ability generation system and define your character stats. Strength for that. Health stamina important for everyone. Ah. But does that have dice rolls in the game too? Reroll six abilities using Oh, okay. So it just gives you a starting point and then you can just like 
up them or you can just customize them by doing this by having full stats I see I see Okay, I see. Point by. Got it, got it. Okay. So let's bump this up to like 15. I know it's not the best for me. Dexterity is agility, reflexes, and balance. Wisdom. There, 16, 14, 15, 14. Constitution. Plus two, plus two, plus, okay. Re-edit. Accurately recreate an existing character. I don't really want to go beyond or below. Oh, no further points. Oh, I, uh, oh, we can increase one of these intelligence. Sure. Because eventually I do want to get like one or two spell abilities. The stage lets you, uh, prior proficiency in various fields of expertise. Your class and ancestry determine a set of proficiencies for a range of options to choose from. Most attacks and ability checks use a proficient, profici eh, proficiency bonus to determine your proficiency. I see. Minus one? Wait, I did minus one. Or, uh, oh, okay, I see. I think. Auto, let the computer select the choices now. So we can choose I think I see wisdom animal handling there's a question when there is any question whether you can calm down a domestic an animal keep them out from getting spooked or in into it an animal's intention make a wisdom check check to control your mount when you attempt a risky maneuver huh. survival Deception, intimidation, persuasion. What do you need for that? Maybe I'll get like a persuasive person in my group. Or wait, I'm just curious. let me do it now class skills I guess cuz I although part of the rule set invalid for role-playing purposes this element is not used in crown of the magister main campaign I'm just curious what it does if it did that Oh, oh, I see, I see. Oh, when it has that, you are proficient with spill. Okay. <laughs> so maybe we already have that because we have plus two. Technically, I think. Awesome, I'm because these aren't great like this is, but we can't get these. Awesome, I was reading this completely wrong. I think it's a set for rangers. Whoa, I do not mean I meant to go back. <laughs> uh, let me go... Take one point away from that. Two, two, three. There, let's try that. Deception. Okay, so I do have deception. 
because I'm proficient with that. Got it. Okay, cool. So we have uh, between these three abilities, and these give you plus two to that. It looks like. So. When you look around for clues, make a deduction based on clues. Make an intelligence check. Let's do that one. Let's do animal handling. And... Group through frozen wastelands, identify signs and owl bears live nearby, predict the weather, and avoid quicksand and other natural ha has hazards. Measures your general awareness of your surroundings and the keenness of your senses. Let's do perception. And then languages, okay. Your intelligence score is zero, though. Oh, right. Well... Well, it's plus zero. So when you roll, uh, you get plus that, I guess. So technically, yeah, Ranger, I say athletic perception, animal hiding. Not a bad idea, because we get plus that amount to the roll. Okay, I see, I see. Good call, good call. That's actually not too bad, too. Um, perception, animal hot handling, because I can always make another character that will be good at that. And then... We do insight or survival. Okay, insight. I, it's actually a good one. Uh, such as determining and search, searching out a lie or predicting someone's next move. This can be useful to know when ne which negotiation unique you should employ employ during a dialogue. That's actually great. Okay, cool. So now languages. Two background languages. Old to Marian. Let's do that. Ah, okay. When you select one. Oh, these are... Wait. Oh, ancestry and language. Choose one language. Does it tell you what the ancestry language is? Your ancestors? <laughs> Words, I guess. Let's... Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Ancestors language. Let's do Old Tamarian. And then two background languages. Earth, Dwarvish, Elvish, Giant, Goblin, Halfling. Do Halfling. And Elvish. Most encoded messengers, Halfling. Sounds good to me. All right, customization time. Let's let's see. I don't know. Davion Cassis. There we go. Good enough. Skin tone. I need to get rid of this beard. And this hair, because I don't know what's going on here yet. Hair color, we're definitely going to be doing all black. You already know that. Okay, let's go this face. Can we do, like, zero beard for now, just so I can see my guy? Alright, that's fine. I know we don't have too many options, which is totally alright. Um... Four, five, six. I might stick with one. 
Sure. That's cool. Tons of options for skin color. All right, time to check hair. So, got one, got 18 choices. We have a nice, simple fade, just for my character. It's eight. Fourteen. <laughs> Thirteen. Eight again. We could also go with number two. Number two is not bad. I don't think I'm getting the type of hair that I'm looking for. Number eight's not bad too. See what type of beards we have. <laughs> Some of these beards look funny. That's not too bad. Been that. I think the long hair, I think we have to do the long hair. It looks a little weird with anything else, to be honest. All right. There's one. One character. One sec. Okay. So, if we stuck with that, let me see. I'm the ranger. Looking at the other people here, too. I'd be alright with making four custom characters. Because you get a full party. Let's do, let's do another one. So, for this one, plus one wisdom, marsh halfling, constitution, common halfling, half elf, increase the score, plus one, dark vision, see, Normally in dim light and, and in natural darkness. Is there anybody that gets... So next, second person I want to make is a like sorcerer or wizard. What, wait, what is considered a sorcerer? Because we have Fighter Paladin, Ranger Rogue, Everyone, Paladin Sorcerer, Ranger Cleric, and Wizard. So we have a Ranger, a Wizard, um, then I feel like we should have like a Cleric, somebody that does some healing, and then, um, then a tank, like a Paladin maybe, or, or a Fighter, or a Rogue. I think. Descendants of people who ruled Celasta for centuries. Trains to use magic very early and have a gift for languages. Gift it with dark vision and fey. All right, so halfling, that's going to be my, um, or half elf, that's going to be my. A uh, cleric person, I think. 
uh keen sentences or senses i'm already human so i don't really need another human in the group i don't think sentries what about the they are trained to fight with swords and bows since their childhood wisdom humans are good for anything <laughs> basically and these guys okay it's a half i see i am going to go let us try uh sure we'll, we'll go high elf and then go wizard Order staff dagger. Ouch. Scholars pack, explorers pack. Bell book. Let's stick with that. At higher levels. Here we go. Arcane traditions. Oh, these subclasses are granted at level two. Shock Arcanist, Lore Master, Green Mage. Whoa, did my other class have that too? Oh, they do. Oh wait, that's fighter. Hold on. Here we are. Hunter, Marksman, Shadow Tamer. Sick, dude. Cool, cool. All right, all right. All right, I'm excited for that. Wow, they all have their own ones. I did not realize. So they all break down even further. Oh my God. Wait, what? Cleric? Holy crap. Paladin? That's sick. Only option D cleric has so many options is actually sick. Uh, <laughs> subclasses are granted at level one. Okay. Oblivion. Life less carefully. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have a life cleric. Wizard. Okay, so yeah, I'm still gonna make this guy a wizard. Let's go for wizard, philosopher. Yes. Then, uh, academic, yes, but also, because it says, Potential is nurture, life is discover secrets of the past, but magical and mundane. Yeah, that's fair. Academic does a bit. How about a low life wizard? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go academic. Because that was my second op. Well, that was one of my the two that I would choose for this. Low life has slang. Okay, so here, let's choose two. Two lawfulness. And egoism. Authority. And pragmatic. Magmatism. It's an interesting combination. All right, the points. Uh, so dexterity, constitution, and intelligence. Let's get this up to like twelve. Or wait, no. Yeah, highest it can go. It's 
put up wisdom a little bit too. That sounds good. Okay. So now... So constitution doesn't really get anything. You have to choose two class skills. Choose two skills from arcane history, insight, investigation, medicine, and religion. Let's do history. Investigation we have. So let's do religion. I think if I remember. Oh wait, no. Maybe we didn't have investigation. Wait, no. I don't think I did because I did this row. Let's do history and investigation. That's fine. Ancestry language was high elf. Elvish is already known. Let's do Aaron. Then we'll do giant and orcish. It's interesting. Uh, tutorial spells and magic. Some classes have ability access to spell magic spells right away while others have to reach a higher level or subclass spells tailored to each class okay Select a cantrip to... Huh. Okay. Oh boy. Acid Splash, Ray of Frost, Shocking Grasp. Melee hit. Definitely want a ranged ability. Acid Bolt. Harassing them and disadvantage on concentration checks until the start of the next turn. And prevent healing for a limited time. Okay. The chill touch is kind of cool. Summoning. Dazzle. Firebolt. Light. Poison spray. Hmm. Is that? Does it tell you how far they are? Shine. Melee hit. Okay, so it says range. If it, I'm assuming if it says range, then that's how far they can be. Actually, uh, firebolt. Ancestry cantrip. So this is like our original, I guess. And then... What happens if I select this? Burning hands. Hmm. Okay. So you can still choose a few. Uh, let's do... Firebolt. I'm just curious what happens. Okay. That's how it works. Got it, got it. Um, chill touch. Annoying B. Get like a debuff. see within range shadow dagger let's do shadow dagger that sounds cool burning hands going to fire in front of you charm person makes an ally of an enemy blinds your enemies for the duration of the spell you can understand the literary meaning of any spoken word that you hear whoa blast spells Six of them? Holy crap. Identify. Jump. Magic arm. Wait, why is jump? Uh, increase an ally's jumping distance. I can't miss. Thunderway. Sleep. Shield. Protect. 
versus evil and good. Such an ally to give them protection from evil or good creatures for a limited time. <laughs> In irresistible laughter. Burning hands. Charming person. Comprehend language. Tech magic. Identify. Magic missile is OP. Magic missile. <laughs> there we go. Annoying bee, chill touch, firebolt, shadow dagger, burning hands, charm person, comprehend language, detect magic, identify magic missile. Magic missile does sound pretty sick too. Let's do it. All right. I have no idea what this person's name will be, but uh, here I'll leave them as that. What type of high elf are you? Actually. That's fine with me. Eye color. Zeke? Wait, did I have this option on my character? Wait a minute. Wait, did I not scroll down and look at this stuff on my character? I need to see if I can edit it. I did not look that far down and i feel like i missed out on some stuff then i believe there I'm is telling i didn't even hear my voice oh my god Later. i hope i can modify it age a little light is always welcome i believe there is a hidden door I believe there is a hidden door. That's sick. That's cool that you can do pronouns and all that. Additional backstory, age. You have them now. Cool. Uh. Dev. Thinking of a name. Dev, I need to plug my phone in too. I'm thinking. Dev Silverhand. There. 
Oh wait, there's a, a randomize. Dev Redmoon? Sure. Can I customize my character again? I really don't know what they sound like. Oh no. I don't want to go through that whole thing again either. Oh well. Well, guess we're sticking with whatever it gave us. Okay, wizard. Um, next one is going to be the cleric. We're gonna do a female cleric. I have to choose one of Celeste's deities when created. For a cleric, they select a deity, offers a range of divine. Fire, ice, lightning, sun. Vampiric touch, that's sick. Do life. Do acolyte or philosopher or aristocrat. Formal. Let's do aristocrat or or acolyte. I don't know. Yeah. Aristocrat. Altruism and lawfulness. Kindness. And that super nice person point by oops why is strength lighter I guess technically I see Charisma plus two increase two other scores by one point each. By increase two other scores by one point each. Okay. In here. I think I heard her bark. Characters. Well, let me finish. Okay. Um, and I, I'm going to need to grab water here soon here. Chat. But hopefully we can make these characters first. So. Uh, we have plus three, plus two, plus two, plus four. Okay. Which one? We didn't do medicine, so let's do that. Survival? I forget which ones I did for my other guy. Let's do performance. Yeah, let's do that. Class skills. Uh, insight. And 
Am I stuck with religion? Oh, okay, I see. performance medicine yeah i guess insight and our only other option is religion fine uh here we're a half elf so halfling dwarvish and goblin all right cantrip fight resistance Ability check. Object can touch emits powerful light. One time bonus of saving throw. Touch a dying ally to stabilize them. Radiant damage. How many do we get? Three. Increasing an ally's ability checks for unlimited time. Give them uh, her one sacred flame, one attack ability, so that way she can still do it. Do something. Fellum. Harum. Then you have Laura Bailey. Voice actor. Uh okay. I'll do this one. Sure. <laughs> Ripped. Oh my god. Undignified. But we won't be fooled so easily. Next time. Are you still with us? A fine oh. victory is mine. A little light is Just always where it welcome. Hurts most. How tiresome. Oh, bad Ingenious, luck. But not a crude trap. Kneel now. A telling blow. It seems F blessed are the light bringers. A fine stroke. Ha. You're still in the fight, curses. Well, done. I'm in my your fault. debt, my friend. They all sound so old. What strength! Your comrades will save you. Let there be light. Truly formidable. I really must be more careful. I spotted a trap of sorts. We are coming. That was a lucky hit. That was a lucky hit. That's fine. All right, and the final one. The final one. Let's create. Hey, uh, I don't know. Not sure, honestly. We made the half elf. Hildorf, maybe? How about these guys? Are they good with anything? Good at swords and bows. Let's 
Let's do a hill dwarf. Paladin. Or we could go fighter. Well, uh, they. Deal with protect good versus evil, lesser. Spell magic, sacred weapon. Played intimidation, medicine, persuasion, and religion. Maybe fighter. Even a rogue would be pretty cool. But, well, I feel like we need somebody that like can hold themselves. Longsword, longsword and battle axe. Uh, no, let's do longsword and shield. Or great axe and shield. Battle axe and shield. Yeah, there we go. Hand axe. We can stick with the the default. For that fighter types champion mountaineer and spellblade okay here we'll do um law keeper acolyte low life Spy, spell sword. Actually, let's do spell sword. Yeah, it's gonna be very uh driven by. Yo, what's going on, Rob Ford? How you doing? How's it going tonight? It's going pretty good. Uh, still creating a characters for the first hour and a half in Celasta, but it's it's fun so far. Uh, authority and lawfulness. There we go. Change this. I don't think I've ever heard of this game. Uh, probably not. It's uh, it was in early access for a while, and it just released into its first. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put all that con constitution so that way he can stay alive and strength then we'll put some into oh we can put it into all three Ooh. um strength constitution and dexterity we i uh, it just released into uh full release recently um personally the graphics aren't the best but it is a very much a rpg party builder where the voice acting and the graphics aren't the best but the storytelling and the immersion and things like that is where a lot of people say that this excels it's um uh as close as it can be to an indie version of a dungeons and dragons game which i am very new to dungeons and dragons genre in itself um but yeah it's it's been on my radar for a while it just released an early uh into full release a few days or like about three weeks ago so i'm just now getting into it because i've been i've been wanting to play it for a while we're making a full four person party before we even start so select fighting style defense dueling uh 
to weapon fighting protection and great weapon fighting make with the melee that you uh so are we either gonna go defense or protection ah okay I'm going to do protection because if they're within five meters uh, and they do an attack roll, then it's potential that you can stop it. So that's pretty cool right there. Acrobatics and we can't really do anything else here, but we'll do history. It's going to give us minus one to intuition rolls or intelligence rolls. I don't know why I say intuition uh we're gonna do the old language oh wait let's do giant language oh wait it's not used in the oh goblin same thing halfling orcish oh should have read that before old Tamarian. Alistair Strong Hammer. Perfect. <laughs> These dwarf faces really have a variety to them. color red crush them well done you'll get a nice scar boom alistair strong hammer <laughs> we have davion why do i look the weirdest out of all of them <laughs> davion uh i forget what my name my last name is what is it just gonna change it for a second. Davian Cassis, Dev, Lara, and Alistair. Dev is, I don't remember Dev's name. Last name, and I, I really wish I could change it. Change, like, check my character's name or, or uh, like change their, their voice. I didn't scroll down, so I didn't get to do physique or anything like that. <sighs> but that's okay. Here we are, though. An hour and 15 minutes later, we have created our characters. But before we get started, I need to take a quick break, grab a drink, because uh, I've been talking a lot here and reading a lot for literally like an hour. And then we shall officially get started. So I will be right back and then we'll jump into this. I am back and I'm going to, to get myself again, but I think I'm going to do it quick because I do, uh, I know I'm going to be stuck with them for probably a while. So I'm going to do it quick. I, for the most part, remember what I was doing. So Ranger. We'll figure out which one I'm going to go just yet. Um, I might go Shadow Tamer or Hunter. You know what I just realized? I didn't choose these for the other people either. I completely forgot about them. But it is what it is. It's not a huge deal. Um, 
spell sword, longbow, dagger. Okay, stick with that. Uh, we're going to go spy, caution, cynicism, kindness, and altruism. Change to this. Dexterity is agility. Uh, wisdom is. Do that and intelligence. It's okay. Then let's do animal handling. Insight. And perception. Then backgrounds, we'll do Ultimarian. Elvish. And since most of these don't matter, I'm going to do Halfling. Now. Cassius. Cassius. <laughs> Cassius Cassius. We could, we could. Pass this dawn. I don't know. I could do cast this clay. Sure, whatever. At this rate, might as well. I can't believe I completely skipped out on a lot of that stuff. Starting to get used to the uh, the look of the characters and stuff too. Maybe I'll change up my beard and stuff too now. I'm a ranger. It's funny how like weird some of these beards look. They're like pointy sometimes. Zeke. Hold it. A nice little warm up. Hey, Evo. We need you. Wait, let there be light. But a light won't hurt. There's a door. Here. <laughs> Eesh. I mean, that's probably as close as I'm getting to something I, I like.
Actually, that's not bad. Let's go with this one. There we go. Oof. I think that's a lot better than what we originally had. Finish. Cassis Clay, much better. Oh my God, compared to this guy, this guy looks goofy. <laughs> Same background and everything too. Let me just make sure. Uh, Yeah, Human Spy Ranger. Much, much better. Absolutely. Oh my god, I'm so glad I changed that. Holy crap. Whew. Okay, so the whole squad is finally here and just about ready to go. In. Hold on one sec, chat. All right, chat, I am back. So now we can finally start the game. Oh God, there's more, <laughs> there's more. It's okay, it's just brightness and contrast. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, Celasta, crown of the majesty. And so it begins. The journey of Cassus Clay and his companions. Before the Cataclysm. No! We skipped it! Oh my god. Wait. I meant to mute myself and I skipped it. But the year is 10 24. Not that I'm complaining. Game is this the place for the Legacy Council job? Hope I'm not too late. Ran into a bit of trouble on the way here. Sit, relax. Perhaps you'd enjoy a pint of this obnoxious ale. If you're here for the council job, get in line. Though if this Lord Karen doesn't show up soon, I may go looking for him. Another round, barkeeper. Four of your finest flagons of donkey piss. I see you're all making the best of this. Indeed. You mentioned something about some trouble. Would you care to elaborate? I was proceeding down the highway, minding my own business, when three brigands burst from the bushes and waylaid me. They carried me off to some ramshackle prison, an imperial ruin of some sort. Fortunately, the walls were as weak as this indifferent ale we're drinking. We start out as her. Hold on. Let me let me see if uh, we quit the game. If I hit start game again, can we watch that? Okay, good. We didn't get to a save point, and we have all of our characters. So,
Uh, which one was next? Dev Red Moon. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We got it this time. All right, start game, start game. I'm not going to skip it. It's okay. It was only like a minute of dialogue. So this time we can actually watch the uh, the intro. And I wonder if, huh, that's interesting. I wonder if I swapped the characters, if it would have made a different starting character. Like, is it always the person in your third slot? We'll find out. Before the Cataclysm, there were no gods on Celasta. No humans, either. Then, the rift opened. Some say it was a magical accident. Or the work of an evil god. No one knows for sure. The Cataclysm destroyed the old High Elf Empire. Manakalan, they called it. And twisted the land beyond recognition. Now, only the brave and the foolish go there. In search of ancient treasures. But something is happening deep in those badlands. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Ah, it is the year 1024 after the cataclysm. A new state's arisen in the Badlands and crave its treasures. The discovered road offers sail route into the ruined heart of the empire. It's formed the knowledge. Oh, okay. Upsetting the balance of power, the Legacy Consul Council is formed to ensure that knowledge is shared. It issues a call to, for agents to explore the Badlands in its name. Ventures flock to Ker Hyflin, the principality's capital and home of the council. Four strangers meet in Gravekeep's cask, close to the council chambers. Much better. Much better. This beer tastes like donkey piss. Not that I'm complaining. Is this the place for the Legacy Council job? Hope I'm not too late. Ran into a bit of trouble on the way here. Sit, relax. Perhaps you'd enjoy a pint of this urban sale. If you're here for the Council job, get in line. Though if this Lord Karen doesn't show up soon, I may go looking for him. Have a round barking of your finest flagons of donkey piss, please. I see you're all making the best of this. Indeed. You mentioned something about some trouble. Would you care to elaborate? I was proceeding down the highway, minding my own business, when three brigands burst from the bushes and waylaid me. They carried me off to some ramshackle prison. An imperial ruin of some sort. Fortunately, the walls were as weak as this indifferent ale we're drinking. So now we are at the prison. Escape the bandits prison. Newly started quest. Find a way out. Select your character by clicking on the character in 3D view on the character's portrait. To select the whole party, use the select all button at the bottom of the portrait display. Where? Uh, bottom portrait display. Well, I guess we don't see it. You can also drag it uh, around all of them. Click to move. Left. Uh, round marker. Invalid. Are shown forbidden sign. Right click and drag. Rotate the camera and view your perspective. You can also rotate using U and E. Use WASD to move the camera around. Okay. I like games that actually let you do Q and E. Uh, middle mouse button, same thing. Interesting that right click is, is also. But okay, cool.
we have a Mara friendly. Click on the journal to open the quest log. Or an objective, okay. Crawl through a hole, do this basically. Got that. Okay. Okay. One second, chat. I'm going to see. Right now, we're in. Um... See if we can do full screen. Uh, code. Or game capture, I mean. if that's any better at all uh frame rate's dropping a little bit unless oh wait i know why because it's still doing the full screen per uh thing one sec move that over there okay that should help a bit yeah, instead of doing display capture, I think this game is a little bit better with game capture. Okay, uh, press and hold alt to highlight various inter interactable objects, door chests, etc. Okay, so it is weft alt. Nice. Loot container. Found a torch. Can we put that in our primary hand? Okay, I see, I see. Go back this way. This is open. Wait, you can't squeeze through that? Really? The door. Can't get through there either. I hear people. Highlight elements are are highlighted elements are interactive. Crawl through. Ah, there's a chest right there. Question is, can we do it? To jump or climb, simply click on the destination. Depending on like your strength and proficiency with the athletics, you can jump and climb between two or five cells. You can always jump over two cells, drop down three, and climb up one, or climb up one easy surface like ladders or ropes without any trouble. Tutorial jump distance. Above a character with strength below 15 and no proficiency in athletics cannot jump far enough to reach the chest. Low fighter with strength 15 to 20 can jump across. Okay. In general. So she can. Got a potion, it looks like. Of some sort. No path to destination. No path to destination. See, is F5 a quick save? Game saved. Game quick saved. There we go. Okay. 
interact with this. Is that a ladder? Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> Knock it down. Got it, got it. Let me see. We're dropping... I mean, for me, the game looks fine, but we are dropping some frames, so... Oh. It's locked to... Wait, what? When did that happen? Got changed to 60. Wait, we just killed them all? Knock this down? Ah. Oh, okay. So we could have gotten to it either way. Um, wait, wait, we can we cancel that? So yeah, we could have gotten to ah. it either way. It's just... I... Well, to get it to it faster because we were able to break down that uh or i mean jump across whoa so we just got a full set of armor bless you handle ration pouch crafting scroll of cure wounds and scroll of revive it Re revivify and we found some gold and other stuff Ooh. That's about it in here, I think. Yes. That's nice that you can see what you can interact with. Nice move. That trick with the wall. Glad you're no worse for wear. This council needs to get organized. They have no right to keep us waiting like this. Have another rail. It's not like you have anywhere better to be. I have a tale to tell as well. I too was attacked. But I put an end to my enemies with blood and pain. Let's hear it then. Don't be shy. Ah, the combat tutorial. Killing two wolves. A battle starts. Six and six. Moving to a point in the yellow area uses your main action to dash. Dash doubles your maximum movement of the turn. However, you cannot use your action to to attack or cast a spell. Okay. I see. I think. So if we do this, Take that. twenty-one. Nice. Use power. Or we can end turn. It's end turn. Oh boy. Ah! Oh no, his first name is lowercase. To attack an enemy using default weapon, mouse click, uh, mouse over them and left click. You can also cast an attack. You can try to shove them too. So if we move here. Opportunity attack. Boy. Oh no. Push away. <laughs> Watch your step. And we can't do anything else, right? These are all your abilities. Number of cells to move during combat. Ah, shoot. I just moved to a bow. Ah, great. Whew. Missed. Clicking dodge uses your main action and provides the falling bonus till the start of your next turn. All attackers do that. Okay. Do this. <laughs> Victory. Nice. Disengage and push the rock. 
Where's the rock? It's not any loot, right? Oh, okay, there's the rock. Wayne the Rock Johnson. To avoid an attack of opportunity, uh, to avoid an opportunity attack, you can use the disengage action for the rest of your turn. You can move close to enemies freely without any risk of opportunity attacks. Okay. Huh. 21. Good, good. Disengage. Seed. You can this object. Son. What a bunch of namby pambies. You're lucky you weren't attacked by Sorax. Shot your go, or I'll shot it for you. The Badlands are thick with them, shape shifting bastards. Go easy on him. He's just a harmless old drunk. Probably saw lizard folk or dragonborn or something. You think I don't know the difference? All those spines on their backs, those jaws. You've never seen anything like it. Not lip oak, not troglodyte, not dragonborn, I'm telling you. No one believes in Sorax anymore. Except the Church of Enar, of course. There's a Sorak under every bed if you believe them. Easy now. Don't mock people their faith. Read books. Sorax are masters of deception. Infiltration. Anyone here could be a Sorak. You know. Is that oh, carnage? God. I think it is. Huh, I know see. he does voice acting in this. So, anyway. Or co-carnage? Sorax might be legend, ah. but orcs are caught. quite real, and not just in the Badlands. I stumbled across a secret settlement right here in the Principality. Bullshit. I traveled here from the east, left the main highway, hoping to save time by traversing the hills. The views were magnificent. But I should have kept my eye on the path. It gave way beneath my feet, plunging me into a Stygian darkness. Ow! That's going Stealth to tutorial leave a mark. now. Right? Um, hold on. Okay. We have Insulasta. You explore deep, dark places without natural light. Exploration and combat harder, especially for characters without dark vision. With torches or cast light spells to reveal your environment for the whole group. So, it's interesting when you press, uh, you actually can't see, or not can't see, uh, you can't move the camera around. Yeah, you can still click, but you can't move the camera. But I guess it's technically meant just to highlight. Anyways. That's weird. My Alistair's name is not highlighted. So it's hard. I mean, it's not highlighted. It's uh, not capitalized. So you can't see it. Or you can't um, fully read it. Read it. Let's complete the objective. Here we go. Ah, I see. Seventeen. Orcs here. Strange. I wonder what this totem means. Add some history check. Healing. If your character can cast healing spells, press cast spell button and select the spell to recover lost hit points. Okay. 
HP three of eight. Infinite, uh, two. Was this? You have not spent any spell slots of this level. I do not have any, uh, healing abilities. At least I don't think. There they are. Discretion is clearly the better part of valor in this instance. Cautious mode. Activating cautious mode makes you slower, but it grants you two benefits. Hidden objects and traps are easier to find. You are harder for enemies to spot. The caution. Ah, okay. That's how you can see that. The names of the enemies, too. So what will this do? Opens another path. I see. So essentially, we are the path finder. Did it? So dumb. <laughs> All right. Probably could have just clicked over here instead. I don't know if we still need to be cautious or not. Inventory. Can I just like use this? Drink potion. There we go. Heal yourself, quest complete. I think that's where we need to get to. Oh, wait. Go back up? There's something right here. Moss. Okay. And back down. means of egress is apparent fine i shall wait until they go these creatures do hunt right recover hit points special abilities and spells you must take a long rest to do so you can gather your party around the safe place and have one ration food per party member safe places are represented with the parent campfire logo Many spellcasters know more spells than they can recast at a given time. Prepared spells represent those a character can use by spending a spell slot. Check the hero's known spells and choose which ones you want to prepare. Okay. Over all hit points, half your hit dice maximum. Six full HP of Han completion. You recover these features spell slots. Okay. They have long rest, short rest. Air spells. Okay, so you can only do four at a time. Ah, I see, I see. Our person. Sure. Interesting. 
interesting how you can only afford it at a time. Well, at least for now. I would have slaughtered every one of those green skinned monsters. Lower case Alistair. Orcs have a very distinctive stink. I'm beginning to think Lord Karen might be a mythical creature. We've heard a tale of our troubles here. All but one of us. Yes, but I have a reason for that. It's none of your bloody business. God hell. Don't be a killjoy. We all sang for our supper. Now it's your turn. Fine. You want to know the truth? I stopped on the way here to visit a friend of mine and discovered he was up to his eyeballs in debt with a loan shark. So he was in dire straits? Indeed. He put up a family heirloom as collateral and wanted me to reacquire it because you see i can be quite stealthy when necessary here we go cover the stolen gem use caution mode to move stealthily enemies can hear you you if you cross your noise circle and in cautious mode for the whole duration of this mission footsteps you can turn right click and to rotate the camera and view your perspective Not proficient with this item and cannot equip oh, it. Always thoughtful. Open the map of this location. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. save Seconds chat. Try to pick a lock, mouse over a locked door or chest, and left click. We're still going through the tutorial. First two hours. 21 nights. So technically, I don't think we were supposed to. Oh. Oh, okay. One second. Ah. All right, that's enough one seconds for a while, hopefully. Reach the next courtyard. made it are we just stealing some flowers is that it
All right, recover the treasure room. Here we go. Or find the treasure room. Oh, is that our objective? Ah, I see. It's kind of like a Hold compass. A trap. So I'm a trap. You must first detect it. If you try to open or, or lockpick a chest with a trap that you haven't detected, you won't find out if the trap when you try. Failed. Oh boy. Uh, what do we do when we fail it? Oh! Ouch. Well, I think we can still try the door, right? Nice, nice. Liam's heirloom. Uh oh. Liam! He's outside! There you are, you filthy crook! You? What? You're drunk. Get out of here before I kill you. Think you scare me? Not anymore. A grave mistake. Liam, what are you doing here? I told you I'd take care of it. Sometimes in the course of the adventure, some non-player characters may become critical. This means if you let them die, the game is over. Oh boy. If you attack an enemy while undetected, you gain an advantage of surprise. This means that you have an advantage on your roll to hit and your opponent cannot react before the next turn. So I'm shark. That's all. Got him. How do you want to do this? Are you here to see Lord Karen? Ah, so you get to choose who's saying. Well, we're not here to drink ourselves to death. All right, who's well, who says what? I thank mean, you for making that clear. Saying? Is that what I said? Well, if you're here for Lord Karen of the Legacy Council, that would be me. Ah. So you're not a mythical creature after all. Unlike, say, a sober adventurer? <laughs> Might we ask a bit more about this quest of yours, sir, if you please? Well, I suppose it's better if you know what you're doing. What do you want to know? We're good, thank you. About the Legacy we hear Council. this is a mission for the Council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know. I'll try to make it simple, but you know politics. The council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. Which countries make up these Eastern Kingdoms? Simple. The Principality of Mazgarth, here, is in the middle. The Snow Alliance lies to the north, the Kingdom of Galavan to the east, and the New Empire to the south. All friendly, more or less, but the peace is fragile. What are the organizations you mentioned? The Council is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcanium, and the Circle of Denan. 
and the Church of Einar guarantees fairness, led by Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oath Keeper Lyra Keen. What are the Badlands really? Simply put, they are a monster-ridden, chaotic wasteland that used to be the elven empire called Manicullen. It was destroyed about a thousand years ago by the Great Cataclysm. Now, only ruins remain, full of forgotten knowledge, riches, and dangers. Okay. I think we know enough now. Thank you. Are we going to work for you? Not exactly, no. I'll be your contact with the Legacy Count, which you will serve as deputies. Why we need to go there and get you sworn in. What can you tell us about this place, the Principality? We don't exactly have the time. Anyway, the Principality of Mazgarth is ruled by Princess Kaiwood Silverflower. We are a wealthy state with fertile lands and the easiest access to the Badlands through a pass called the Copperhead Road. We're in the capital, Ker Kiflun, which was once part of the ancient Manicalan Empire of the High Elves. Hence the magnificent elvish buildings up there in the High Tower. While we don't have a state religion, all of the major faiths of Celasta are represented here, though we tend to favor Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. Right. We should go, don't you think? Very well. Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. Hurry up and wait. <laughs> the story of my life. True. True that. Mr. Bear, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. So, um, Principality Capital is a large city. And now you you need to find the Legacy Council once there. Uh, da -da -da. You'll have to access the fast travel. Why is nothing loaded for me? What the hell? Uh... Access for the fast travel point function. You'll be able to walk a little, go north, walk up the stairs, sunblaze court, and then take the stairs to the west. Uh, I see. We'll talk after you're swearing in. Okay. <laughs> it's nice that you can still see the objective and everything. This place is magnificent. I'm busy. Come back later. Okay. close to the embassies epic sax fan subscribed on youtube look at the size of this council hall so this is what they spend our taxes on look is that the princess wait is she leaving apparently so then who will administer the oath The 
the maid who empties her chamber pot? No, we're not as important as that. Perhaps her stable boy. You thought it would be the princess? If she rules the whole principality, who's more important? Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen, oath keeper of the council. Shh. Quiet, everyone. And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the council's reputation. Remember that, always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? Stop wasting time. What's the mission? Well, a motivated deputy. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress. KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. Okay. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer, more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty, and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. Wait, these marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no man's land between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there, yet. A whole garrison gone. There are only four of us. Just find out what happened. Run back if you get scared. Got it. Though we were hoping for a first mission with more riches than risk, if you catch my drift. You don't get to choose your mission. I'm afraid. So, gather what you need and go. Time is of the essence. All right, let's do it. Right, I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. The five counts of factions have representations in Air Siphon. I'm not sure how you say that correctly, to be honest. Yo, what's going on, Dev? <laughs> well, this is a really good looking game. When I heard you were playing a D and D game, this is one. This isn't what I was thinking. Yes, no, it's an actual video game still, but it's it's modeled off of D and D. But uh, yeah, it's and it's made by like an indie company too. So. It's actually pretty cool so far. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half to create my characters and then do the tutorial. And we're still doing the tutorial. But uh, they can sell their equipment and spells and many other things. Uh, I think a relationship with a faction, the more money they off, the more they have to offer. However, these factions are in competition with each other, which means you can't please them all. Various subquests. Press the map button to open location map, waypoint has been found using the travel to another place and location for now you can use fast travel to return to grape keep cast all right so ah okay
cool. It automatically unlocks all these places. Time will be fast forward accordingly. Wait. That's funny. That's cool though. Hello adventurers. What can I offer you? I like how each conversation you can choose what to say. But yeah, that, so we have Alistair, Dev, myself, and Lara. Your beer is terrible. And that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. Tell us about your tavern. The inn? Well, it's not Reminds that old. Reminds me of the council, oddly. I can see that. it feels that. like it's been here forever. I definitely see that. Well, you can meet that. all kinds of people here. That's the good thing. It kind of has An the... An old scavenger, a diplomat from the, the council. same vibe to it. A knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Gravekeep's Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to Party the suite. Party loses 10 gold and pieces. And settle this. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. I've actually, I've heard like mixed things about the, uh, the voice acting. One second. Okay. Uh, especially for an indie game. Yeah, I've, I've heard mis mixed things, but so far I feel like it's, it's actually not too bad. Uh, so long rest complete. You have recovered all hit points and half of your di hit dice maximum. Everyone's at HP. Uh, spell slots. So we can level up. Ah, all level two. Okay, sweet. Fighting style. Rain bell casting. Select fighting style. Archery, dueling, tool defense, and tool weapon. Tool to weapon. Let's do archery. It's my character is a ranger character. What's our party like class-wise? So I am the ranger. Uh, my personality is spy. I have I am cautious, kind, uh, willing to help people, and casual. Um. Yes, rangers are always cool. I uh, I will show you each one as well. So uh, so I am the ranger. We have. Alistair, who is our fighter slash tank. We have you, or Dev, as the uh the wizard, and the Laura is the um uh cleric, life cleric, so she's the healer. Alistair is the tank. I am damage and you are damage. So we cover all bases for that. Choose a beast that you can see within the spell range. That beast must make a wisdom saving throw or be charmed for the spell's duration. That's cool. So I get to choose two of them. Detect magic, hunter's mark, an enemy gets an additional damage from you and can detect for a long time. Long strider. Creates 10 berries infused with magic. Eating a berry restores one hit point and provides sustenance for a long rest. Fog cloud. Your wounds. 
Huh. Reveal things which are magical. Pull up with magic. Let's go. Is there a main story? Is there like D&D &D with random quests? There is a main story. Um, there, I believe there also are side, side missions and things like that. Um, essentially, all we know is we're in this world and there was, we've all been looking for a job and there's stuff going on. So we got hired by this one guy, which I can't remember his name off the top of my head. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it so far. So we'll see what happens from here. Um, uh, Hunter's Mark. I'm going to do that too. Level up. So here you are. Specialization, certain type of magic. Classes are provided specialization when reaching a certain level. For entertainment, of course. So we have Green Mage, War Master, Shock Arcanist. Are the heirs to the ancient traditions of Slyvan elves? They are wardens of the forest, specialized in nature and magic, and also reliable bowmen. Trained to survive without spells, if need be, as they had to in the wake, uh, as they had to in the wake of the cataclysm. War Master. Obsessed with the lost knowledge of pre-cataclysm times, they know the old uh, empire had superior magic and they long to learn more about the lost spells. But it's your par party, sir. Uh, let's see. Mag magic is focused on gathering all possible knowledge. That sounds cool. An arcane shock arcanist. Was it battle mage of the Manaclot? Manaclot? Ielian Empire, their teachings had survived Cataclysm to become the renowned and feared magical tradition on every major magic school. Yeah, they all sound pretty cool. Higher levels, Arcane Fury and Arcane Shock. What about Lore Master? Learn one additional spell each time. Or you can add proficiency bonus to the number of spells you can memorize. Also learn two additional cantrips from the wizard's list. And green mage. Angle shot, leaf scales. I think we're going to go lore master or shark, sh shark, shock arcanist. Uh, advantage to copy scrolls to your spell book. Scroll and potion crafting costs. Times are halved when spelling. When casting spells from the war list, they count as being cast from one slot higher. I feel like Lore Master sounds really cool. So, select new spells or cantrips to learn. Now I'm going to do this one. Um, let's do Thunderway and Hideous Laughter. That sounds great. Prepare spells. So. The weird thing is that you have to prepare certain spells at a time, but it's validate. Okay. I think we're good. Dev the lore master at your service, Ranger Clay. <laughs> All right. We've got Laura, who's a knockoff of Laura Bailey, uh, spells. We have Bane, reduce your enemy's attack and saving throws, bless, cure wounds. Okay, I need to change some of this up actually. Domain, no free hand to perform somantic, somatic spell components. Huh. 
I need healing. I need healing. I think that's the only healing ability. Okay. That's fine for now. We have four. And level up. Alistair. Preparing spells is probably to balance out the mages from being too broken. Turn-based games are my thing, but I do like the cutscenes so far. Exactly. Um, well, personally, turn-based have become my thing over the last few years, of course. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I agree as well. I, I understand. I actually played D&D &D before. Same here. Um, these games have been, like, my huge introduction and interest to D&D style things same here same here i honestly hope to someday uh, go get killed in the badlands whoa that's rude and also change our weapons to make sure we're using the correct items so i have the bow uh you have that wait if i go to inventory i change my primary to that and we'll change these to my secondary dev you are fine as is not exactly sure how that works notebook All right, that all looks good. Your armor is clean. I think it, it does look uh, pretty cool. All of them look pretty good too. Inventory is a lot sleeker than I thought it was going to be as well. They all have like fitting looks to them. She's a cleric, life cleric. Uh, Alistair is the hill dwarf fighter, human ranger and high elf wizard lore master it's all pretty neat stuff and you also have proficiencies crafting ranger spells <laughs> there's a lot to this you know it's crazy in this game just recently released in uh Uh, full full release it was in early access for quite a while but now it is uh full release is the whole party following me buy some food for the journey let me go chat with this person real quick if i can Clear skies adventure. Oh, we're not. This place is huge. Yeah, the maps and the maps pretty cool too. Um, the way it's set up and everything. Pretty neat. Go to the market street. You must have a quest tutorial crafting and celeste so you can craft various items to do so you need the proper equipment close for crafting recipes understood hello how may i help you and we see your waz Identify. Reveals everything about a selected item, including whether it is magical.
Huh. Projectile parts. How much gold does it cost? Inventory isn't too chaotic, like you said, very m minimal. For right now, I think it is. <laughs> we'll see down the line, to be honest, though. That's where it might get a little bit more uh, chaotic. But for now, not too bad, you know? It does, uh, it does the job. Scroll kit. Ocean of healing. Magic missile. Earl. Porch, potion of healing. Your wounds. Scroll. Cast. Okay. I see. I see. It's a revive scroll. Projectile parts. Cool. Magic missile bet. Yeah, I've heard it's uh, pretty good too. Open quick shopping. Okay, so that's how that works. You can quick shop. Scroll of thunder wave. Scroll of magic missile. Go over here. Welcome My to new Gorim's Emporium. My new came in today, so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow night I'll install it or try to. Um, depending on how much time I have and stuff. Looking forward to that and hoping that it works well. Actually came pretty fast. 32 gigabytes of RAM. Two 16 gigabyte cards off of Newegg. Fingers crossed. I think, uh, I think one of my RAM cards on my what you have to computer sell? is actually Everything going bad. For going out there into the badlands. But I don't know Food, which one. Ropes, torches, and of course, armor and weapons. I also have some other stock like remedies and antitoxins. That can come in handy. Ever heard of deep spiders? My character's voice made me laugh for some reason. Love it. It is pretty good. Some Are you going? That's me. The Mine's interesting too. Can we see your wares? Um. Okay, so they have weapons here. A bunch of whippian. Um, and armor, leather armor. Okay. 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 Started with some scale armor. Uh, what did we need? Buy some food for the journey. Welcome to. We buy four pieces of food. Opponent pouch. Weapons, armor, magic, gear, crafting, and don't think that they have food here. <laughs> Doesn't look like they have food. Is there somebody else nearby that sells food? Hello. Maybe a different vendor? Deputies, a word if you please. So famous already. I love it. You were in there too. Jeez. Are you a so member tall. of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No, but you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Karen not tell you? 
No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. Well, at least, most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. They're tough. These yes, so vibes. Fearless. Inviting beggars to the council? How peculiar. The scavengers. They've seen so much already. The first explorers of the ancient empire. So, what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. Buy some food from the journey. Uh, near a merchant, you will find a quick shopping interaction. This bypasses interaction discussion to instantly open the merchant surface. Okay. So, I guess right here they do have food. I just don't see it. A ration pouch. That's what it is. Or. Okay. Um. What is There we go. That's complete. Okay. <laughs> I can see that. Uh I feel like she shouldn't have two-handed weapons. Or I mean both hands used because she's going to eventually um use more abilities here so efficiencies i think she needs one free hand no free hand to perform semantic spell components Some of these, she, she actually gets locked out a good amount of them. So I think I'm going to remove her shield. And maybe swap out her main weapon. What would she be good for using? Okay, so when you hover over it, it tells you what she's proficient in. A club? <laughs> Simple mace, that's what she has. Simple weapon. Bludgeoning damage, standard metal, throne. Huh. Wait, can you actually... Is it like a throwing axe? Like, you get it and you throw it? The UI in this game is nice. Yeah, it's, it's decent, you know. Not bad. Quartering staff. Is that what your guy has? Is it quartering staff? Quarter staff? Yeah, it is. What about a crossbow? Is she good with those? Well, I think that would be two hands then. Yeah. She does have crossbow bolts. Does she have a crossbow? She does. She has it. Oh, she already has one. How about I give her a quarter staff? Only costs two oh, silver pieces. Oh, silver. Why? I'm assuming we're, I assume we're okay. Yeah, yeah, then. Oops. There we go. And now we go to her proficiencies. Craft, no, character, inventory, cleric spells. Yes, now she'll be able to use the other ones. Okay, good. Good. That's what we want. Um, high elf spells. Oh, wow. Firebolt and wizard spells. Cool. Ranger spells. 
must wield slash wear a spell focus or component pouch. I have one of those. Am I able to trade to myself? Ration pouch. I could have sworn somebody has a component pouch. Projectile parts. Backpack. Crossbow bolts. That. That. Arrows. Red Moon, dope last name. Yeah, I had to. I, I couldn't think of one, but I shuffled a few times and I was able to get that one. So <laughs> I'm glad you like it, at least. Dart, chainmail. Maybe we'll get one down the line. The music's pretty, like, chill, too, right now. Uh, I can't believe it's already 9 o'clock. Maybe the other guy has one. I'm sure we'll get one down the line, too. Let's toggle the whole party. That's one thing I need to make sure I always do. Grab the whole party. Otherwise, we're going to be running around without people. That wouldn't be good. Acid, angry, violet. Component pouch. That is one. Somebody has one. I, I know it. I've 100% saw that. Oh. He has one equipped. That's why. Do I have one? 29 gold. Spell focus. Arcane amulet. Or I could get the amulet instead, actually. Your purchase. Take the amulet instead. Can we sell the noble clothing? Do we need that? Doesn't sell for anything. Include. Now, if I went here. Aha. Now I can do both. Okay, cool. So you just need a spell focused ability. Got it. Got that. I understand now. Journal. The scavengers track quest. Visit the scavengers headquarters. Very well. We shall. Right, let's go over here though first. And chat with this lady. Ah, you came. You piqued our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know. See you later. What kind of help do you offer to people like us? Simple. Now, people like you typically carry out missions for the Council. In the marches, even in the Badlands. Sometimes far away, like Captain Merrin. Who's Captain Merrin? <laughs> You really must be new. She's one of yours. Senior deputy of the council. Anyway, you trek out to some old ruin in the bad luck. Kill a bunch of orcs. Well, you're still a bit green. So let's say goblins. Ow! You're hurting our feelings. Orcs will hurt much more than your feelings, believe me. And stop interrupting, it's rude. So let's say... You find yourself with a whole load of rusty swords, leather armor, shields, too much for you to log back here. Oh, so we're puny as well as green. Thank you so much. So instead, you brave heroes just clear the place of monsters and draw us a nice clean map. Then we take our carts and pick up every piece of junk. We bring it back, we sell it, and we split the profits with you. We move the stuff, you go off to kill more bad things, Everybody wins. For a percentage, of course. What? You could never carry a doll anyway. Not in your little backpacks.
Do you sell healing potions? No, we don't. There's a shop for that. All right. Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to KLM. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh, so this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll <laughs> see you around then. Sure. Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. There's a bunch of chests highlighting right now. Loot this container. I hope it's not stealing. Unfinished bi biography. And... Document paper. Dragon Den advertisement. Party stash. This chest is for you, to, yours to use. You, no one can loot it. You can stash up the th uh, fifty items. Cool. And pick the lock on the chest. Held. Does anybody have? Ah, you need thieves' tool to pick the lock. Is anybody proficient with the pistol? Is there a way I can tell? Not proficient. Proficient? Not proficient. Okay, well, I guess I'll hold on to it for now. So I guess the only people that really technically matter is the ones that have the things over their head. Everybody else, I don't think they'll talk to us. Known content, angry bush. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> That's sick. You can click on the map and it'll auto take your people there. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. Angry bush. This is the unknown content. Reach the outpost. Is that our objective? Convey the speak to in the scavengers' headquarters. Where is that at?
The Carolem Outpost. Okay, let's go to this one then. I'm assuming it'll take us there, if that's the case. Yep, okay. Yep, we need to go out this way. Cool. Um... They're going. <laughs> I love how they're walking in a line. Why? Does this follow the leader? Friendly, friendly. I love how all my characters are friendly. All right, let's leave. Yes. Leaving the first area. Travel map. Use the arrow keys to explore the map. Click on a destination to plan your travel. Your party will take some time to get there. While en route, adventurers can gather food by foliage or hunting. You can also find crafting hands and counter travel counter travelers, remarkable locations, or even monsters. Going on an adventure. Yes. The beginning of the adventure. A slow place uh, lets you move cautiously, trying to remain hidden from monsters. A normal pace is faster but riskier. Fast pace is the quickest of all but can be dangerous. Rangers will be very useful while on their preferred terrain. You will also find more food and less likely to be surprised by monsters. You can set travel so you need to micromanage your party. Whenever someone can level up, a long run can be Started me without fitting the day travel. That's cool. Uh, when a tra crafting task is complete, you can set up a new one without losing time. You can open the post rest window after a long rest for instances to modify your prepared spells. Sweet. That's good. Look at this map. All settings unique. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty cool. So like, yeah, yeah, I really like how they do that. So we're going over here to this outpost, right? And we hit travel. So it asks for, ooh, so normal, fast, and slow. Between speed and awareness of surroundings. Interrupt when the long rest has been completed. Interrupt when an item has been crafted. Two long rests. One long rest. Duration, four days. Let's go there in three days. Party did not find any food. Your heroes normally plan their travel, so they don't... They are always ready for anything. The routine requires them... You travel no more than eight hours a day, so leave enough time to eat and sleep. Wow, they only travel for eight hours a day? Huh. Why? What? Why wouldn't they travel for like 14 or 16? I guess balance, but whatever. Uh, this routine requires them to travel no more than eight hours a day and leaves enough time to eat and sleep and for other activities such as crafting, talking, playing games, and so uh, an instrument and praying. So it's basically their work. <laughs> their work is traveling. Sometimes the normal routine will be interrupted and your heroes will need to travel while they should be resting. This will add fatigue and may lead to exhaustion. Adventurers know how to push themselves temporarily, then return to a normal routine, limiting camping activities to get more rest so that the fatigue is needed. You collected some angry violet. Unfolds a bedroll to set up a night's sleep. Uh oh, bandits. Group of hostile creatures has managed to surprise you. <laughs> Dev performs mental exercises. Surprise. Uh oh. Oh man. Here we go. <laughs> First battle. 
You have been surprised while camping. You must fight off your attackers before you can leave. Having been surprised, you cannot take any action during the first turn of the battle. Don't hold your back your spells and powers. You will finish. You will finish your long rest after the battle. So put all your strength into this fight for survival. What the, uh, this lets your character wait for a specific condition to be met so they can interrupt other characters turns to be ready to action. Use shortcuts to switch weapon equipment. You can use three weapon configuration shortcuts by default. Uh, last shortcut is your light shortcut. This is third creation that it's uh, includes a uh, torch. Okay. And your shortcuts in the inventory. Here we go. <sighs> Let's -a go. Oh boy. How many are, are there? At least three. One, two, three, four. There's four feet four v four. Wow, they look like us almost. Wait, literally. Why do they actually almost look like us? <laughs> look. There's me. This guy looks a little different. This guy almost looks like him. They almost look like that. <laughs> and then they have the same haircut. Are they trying to, to take our place? What's going on here? <laughs> All right. Hunter's Mark. Uh, let's go for this bandit first. And fire. Missed. Damn it. Well, um, I'm going to move behind the rocks. And to end my turn. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Same. Uh oh. Use powers. Second wind? No. Action surge attack. Go ahead and do a ta attack on the bandit. Oh, Miss. Bad luck. Not on a good streak here. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. I think if I move, there's a chance he can hit me as well. Yes. And if I move this way. Then there's a chance they'll hit me there as well. So let's stay still. We can also defend our people if we stay still, which is good on that aspect. Cast spell. Let's do the magic missile. Select three targets. Very good. Nice. And we shall end our turn because I do not want to get injured. Cast spell. <laughs> Success. Nice. Oh, wait, no. They defended it. <laughs> uh, heal now. Alice, increase an ally's AC for a limited time. Let's do his Alistair's shielded by faith. And uh, dude, if I move, I'm going to be injured. Potentially. They missed. Let's see. Take a shot at him. Plus eight. Nice. Nice. Good hit. Select a new target. Hunter's mark. Perfect. Attack on ally. Highwayman is attacking dev. You can react to the imposed disadvantage upon the enemy. Uh, you do not react to this event, saving your reaction for later. You can block the attacking and impose disadvantage. This is your reaction until your next turn. Ha! <laughs> no. Ah, 
Yes. Victory is yours. There we go. Let's move right here. Defend them. And I think that's all I can do. Oh. Oh, I can do an action surge. Try again. Which, yeah, gives me another chance, but. Thanks, so me. You're welcome. All right, let's cast another spell. Do this. Nice. Psychic. Damage. Use power. Six cells who can flee. Huh. Oh, it's here. Now. Oh, it just got here. Select the position in the sphere. Targets must perceive the source of the effect. Uh, you can if you want. Healing ally? Is anybody injured? Nobody's injured yet. So, I'm gonna pass. Round four. Light. Fire at the bandit. 18. Nice. Plus one piercing, I think. That's how that works. Target. Ah, I should have did this before. Oops. Good miss. Hit that. Nice. Plus four flash slashing. <laughs> Man, they are trying and not succeeding. Deal damage to one enemy and then prevent them from healing. Uh, magic missile. Let's do this again. Can I do somebody twice? Yes. Ah, that I like. Nice. This is almost dead. Wait, is that a melee ability? Melee hit. It is. Victory. After a night attack, you can safely go back to sleep and complete your long rest. To do so, simply click on the campfire. All your characters will receive the benefits of a long rest as normal. Eric of the Oblivion Domain with the peaceful rest will not be surprised in the future. This time was for the purpose of explaining the rule. That's cool. That's pretty neat. Odd, eh? Wow. Well, okay then. Loot. Huh. I'm gonna take the money. And the leather armor. Uh, an identified potion. Wow. Good stuff. Okay, so that picks up all the loot in the area. That's cool. All right. Did I join the gold glory adventure? No hat. Cassis is concentrating to maintain the spell Hunt's Mark. Click to stop concentrate Hunter's Mark. Uh, Shield of Faith. And there. Okay, interesting. Cool. Well, chat, this is going to be it for tonight's uh, play session. Uh, Playthrough. Let's play. Start one. Part one, I mean. Um, so far game awesome uh i'm really looking forward to playing more i'm glad it's it's honestly so far has exceeded my expectations 
I thought it was going to be a lot bumpier than this, getting into it and everything. But so far, that's the third time I said so far, but it, it really has been great. Um, I'm really impressed and I've been itching to play another game like this. So tomorrow we'll be hopefully playing some more. Tomorrow we do have Divinity with the boys. As long as that's still happening, then we'll probably be playing this uh, for like an hour or two. And then around probably eight or nine, we'll be jumping on the Divinity um, and play till a little bit later as usual. But.